Well, greetings and welcome. You know, we've been sharing stories about Easter for, well, really um, the whole time of Lent. But Easter is now over, and we're sharing some stories immediately after Easter. I shared one about Thomas, and it's called Seeing is Believing from our book called The Easter Story. And I really always enjoy this book because it talks about all the different stories about Jesus leading up to the crucifixion, and then well past, of course, as well. And so today, though, we finish this story, and it's called Breakfast by the Sea. The disciples did not want to stay in Jerusalem. They knew Jesus was alive. They decided to go home, back to the Sea of Galilee. After all, Jesus had said that he would meet them there. One night, Peter and some of the other disciples decided to go fishing. They went out in their boat and they fished all night. But as light dawned, they had still not caught a single fish. Then they saw a man standing on the shore. He called out to them, Have you caught out any fish today, my friends? His voice traveled across the lake, as we know that voices do travel across lakes. After they shouted back their answer, the man replied, Well, throw your net over on the right side of the boat, and you will catch fish. The disciples were tired, and they were weary. It was a long night's unsuccessful fishing. But they cast out their nets one last time anyway. And almost as soon as the net hit the water, they swelled and bulged with fish. John looked out across the water to a stranger on the beach. It's the Lord, he cried out. Immediately, Peter leapt up, threw himself into the water, swam to the shore while the others followed in the boat. They found Jesus sitting on the beach, awaiting them there. There was the smell of a fire, and he was cooking some fish. They shared breakfast together, and Jesus' disciples talked, and they all were friends. Over the next 40 days, Jesus appeared to the disciples many times. He then returned to heaven to be with God, his Father. But Jesus did not leave his disciples alone. He told them to return to Jerusalem and to wait, for the Holy Spirit was to come and always would be with them. The Holy Spirit would comfort them, help them, and give them the prayer and the power to live as Jesus had done. And the disciples wanted to tell everyone the good news. And here we have a story, of course, of the fishermen in the boat. And the good news is that Jesus Christ is alive and is our Lord and Savior. And, of course, the disciples go out and they tell people from all over the area and all over the world, eventually, the good news about Jesus and that's why we worship Jesus even yet today, right here in our hometown of Wausau, Wisconsin. What a blessing this story is. What a blessing the Easter story is. And thank you for sharing the Easter season with me. Take care. Blessings. And we'll see you later. Bye for now.